Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to customize your template uh, box that you may purchase from uh, Silhouette or you did a Google search. This is the template box that I created for myself. I could have bought it from Etsy because I believe Etsy a shop has these uh, two-piece boxes. If you're going to use it for mugs, you want the two-piece box instead of the box that's already put together and you just fold it and collect it and connect it. You want the two piece box if you want to be able to make it bigger uh, than just a regular size party favor box. So I'm going to do one for coffee and I want the front of the box to say coffee. So because I'm doing a, a personalized coffee mug. So I use the impact font and if you don't know what the impact, impact font look like it's this font right here. And I like it because it's bold. The letters are close together and it makes it looks nice on the box. Now you can use other fonts as you get used to uh, learning how to do the um, negative space uh, closing and just try it. So anyway, so first of all, you want to get your knife that's over here to your left. Hold your shift key down, hold your left button down on your mouse. And I'm actually, I'm going to start on this side because it's, it's the flat and it's a straight line. And I just going to take that top layer off and before I let my shift key uh, button up I'm going to left click on my mouse again and do the bottom as well you want to get rid of the top and the bottom go get my arrow get rid of all this right here because we no longer need it and you're going to get rid of the bottom as well and then we're going to make one more cut and then we're going to start to fill in the negative space. The negative space is the space in between the letters and the space that's in front of the C and in front of the behind the C and in front of the E. And we're going to delete all that. Now we get ready to um, close up the negative space in between. Now you can group all this together if you don't want it to move. And we can go up here to the line to click on the line do that same thing where we oh wait a minute let's get ready to get rid of this right here we have to get rid of this end piece hold your shift key down left button down on your mouse and get rid of this we no longer need that get rid of this this and this group it delete okay now we can go get our line tool hold your shift key down left button down on your mouse and drag that line oops I'm doing it again Get rid of that don't need that line I need to close up the negative spaces in between each letter so hold shift key down get my line again hold my shift key down and drag it to connect to the other letter and keep holding it down until you close up all those negative spaces in between in between in between in between we're gonna do the bottom in between the letters as well do not close up the letters that we just got rid of those pieces that we just got we don't want to close the letters back up just the negative space okay so we're going to go and do a zoom in after we finish the rest of this so I'm going to get my arrow tool get my shape tool click on my shape box right here and click on the rectangle And we're going to hold our, we're not going to hold the shift key down this time. We're just going to make a box. And you want to make sure that it's even with the top and even with the bottom. And I go get my arrow. Go get my guide to see what I have to do to line that up with that. And that's. The bottom one is okay. The top one needs to come down just a little bit. So I'll just bring that down and it should snap it in place. So that's fine. So I can get rid of, well, I'm going to keep that there because I need to do something else. So I want to thicken my line up. So here's the, uh, the line style too right here button right here I just want to thicken it up a little bit so I can see a little bit better and close and you want to make sure this box right here touches 
these lines right here on your E. Okay, now I need to keep this curve of my C because otherwise if I do just a straight box like I did over here, it would just be square and you won't and you really can't tell. I, I think in the beginning I actually removed this and then put a straight line there, a box like that, and it made that this part right here just be straight. But I want to keep this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, grab a a curve that's in the other direction, which is this one right here of the O. So I click on that, go to copy, paste, and I will put that on the other side. And since I have my guideline there, it tells me exactly that it's all lined up. Now all that is in a spot, so I'm going to move these. Oops, I'm going to move this up here. Now I'm going to zoom in because I want to make sure that all my lines are connected. And I can see a couple of them not connected. Like this one is open. So I need to bring this one to connect to that one. Uh, this one is not connected at all on both sides. So I'm going to connect that and I'm probably have to erase some of that off of there. I don't know why when I make the letters bigger when I zoom in it won't let me connect anything like just perfectly so I will go get my line I mean my eraser and bring it down some so it won't be as big and just snip those little boogers And sometimes I just leave it because it drives me crazy. Um, so, okay, everything is lined up pretty well. So let me go get my arrow. I'm going to zoom out. And now, since we added another negative space, we have to close this up right here. So I would just click this one and copy, paste, paste twice, because I have one top and bottom, and put it right there. Grab this one and put it right there. And I don't think it's touching, okay. So then I group it all together, and now I have my Word template, because actually this is a template too, you know, you can use it, take it off and use it for anything. You don't, it don't have to stay on your box. That's the good thing about it. And here it is. So before you get ready to print up your box, you want to make sure you put your other box, the back box, right in the position that where if you was getting ready to tape it to make sure that it did not block your word. Because if you put it there, this tab will show through the opening of your letters. So that is it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Until then, I'll see you in my next video.